This is my 90 day review of the EG4 6000 XP and it's actually been 91 days so I have PV coming in it's two strings and a total of 7800 watts of solar and I do not have any uh, grid connection this is totally off grid and later I will be installing a generator just because hurricane season's coming and I'll be having to take my solar panels off the roof eventually I'm sure and then for batteries I got the EG4 batteries and a whole stack of that so it's a cabinet and they're working great and I'm running let's see in this shed I have some extra panels so I have a 5000 BTU air conditioner and then inside the house I have three mini splits and they're running you know most of the time not all the time and man you know there's really not much to say it just works like there's no issues I use the app on my phone and also uh, on the website you know the monitoring website for my laptop if I want to drill into more detail but I really don't have to think about it too much and with everything running in the house I have about 55 to 60 percent state of charge on the batteries uh, by about 5 30 6 in the morning and then of course it, solar starts to kick in and, and helps out and usually my batteries these batteries are charged by like 10 30 a.m. the latest ever was 2 p.m. in the afternoon because we had rain all morning and it was cloudy all the rest of the day with a little bit of sun in the afternoon so that that helped um, now before I did everything I updated all the firmware on the batteries and before right when I turned this on initially I updated the work firmware on the inverter and then I put the whole house into service with this and I mean knock on wood you know uh, no problems so highly recommend it it's cost efficient I mean I did it myself highly recommend it